Marie thought that today was just an ordinary day. Hello, my fellow weirdos. It's me, Marie McWilliams. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing book haul. So most of these are books that have been very kindly sent by people and I am so excited to read them. My TBR pile is just, it's getting uncontrollable in this crisis and I should be reading more, but for some reason I'm really struggling to concentrate, so I don't know. Anyway, let's just dive in, shall we? So first up, this was kindly sent to me by the publisher, Erie River Publishing, and it's called It Calls From The Forest, which is a volume one of an anthology of horror book, horror stories. Um, I'm gonna read you the, the blurb at the back. Whatever you do, do not listen. It is not the cool breeze and the scent of pine that whispers your name. No, these things within the forest will rip out your heart and devour your soul. You will tremble as they revel in your madness, taking everything from you and leaving you with nothing. Delve inside this anthology of what truly lurks within the shadows of the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Love the cover as well. It's got a cool, eerie vibe to it. So thank you very much, Eerie River Pub Publishing, for sending that to me. Look out for a review. I'm looking forward to that. Next is one I purchased myself. This is The Ruin of Delicate Things by Beverly Lee. And it is your classic gothic paranormal horror. Uh, Barrington Hall is where it's set. It's a place of secrets. Something Dan Morgan has worked hard to forget, but when a heartbreaking loss brings him back to the place where he spent his childhood summers, Barrington Hall will do what it must to make him remember. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, excited for that. And also another kudos for that cover. Kind of reminds me of The Haunting of Hill House. I'm excited for that. Beverly Lee, by the way, is the nicest woman. She's on Insta. Go and connect with her, check her out. She's lovely. Okay, another couple that I have been sent here. So Deep Arya kindly sent me his um, newest book, which is Broken Rock. He also sent me another copy of The Overbridge, which you'll recognize because I've already reviewed it. Unfortunately, my copy was sitting on top of my handbag one day when it absolutely lashed, which is what is commonplace in Ireland, and it got completely destroyed. So he very kindly sent me one with a little dedication saying that he hopes this one fares better with the elements here. So that was very kind of him. So Broken Rock. Uh, terror and madness seeks to devour all those unfortunate enough to be trapped within the infamous lighthouse of Broken Rock. Assigned to write an article about the old structure, George Morris soon falls into a spiralling nightmare that engulfs him with unspeakable horrors and grotesque acts of unnatural events. Again, sold. I kind of wish I had one of those, like, you know those advert voices? The, like, the cool, like... Marie thought that today was just an ordinary day. One of those voices for reading blurbs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, this one uh, was a special gift. This was actually bought to me for Mother's Day from my daughter. And oh, look at that cover. It is the latest Stephen King, If It Bleeds, four different, I say short stories, but they're more like novellas, um, brought together. And oh my gosh, I am already loving it. I'm like halfway through and it is utter perfection. Definitely keep an eye out for a review of this. We've got four stories. Let me get you the titles. Uh, we have If It Bleeds, which uh, bring, kind of carries on from The Outsider. Uh, we have Mr. Harrigan's Phone. I really like that one. The Life of Chuck. I loved it too. And then Rat. So that's the four stories inside. Loving, loving, loving that. Another one that I have been very kindly sent by the author is The Dark Book of Gwena Luna by Gunther Primig. And I just love the kind of, um, let me just show you the illustrations inside this. Do, do, do. Very cool. There is a lot of horrible things to be afraid of. I want to stomp something. I want to save someone. I want to know I did some good, have a use. And I want to say myself just once, good witch. So Gwendolina is 17, on the run, and dreams of strange things, a child-eating giant who lives in the woods, ghosts haunting a laboratory, a valley of the undead, a magical book, and Jack the Ripper escaping from hell. Why does Gwendolina seek out the help of a jaded psychiatrist to unravel these dreams? And is it wise to listen to a girl who just might be a witch? Um, I've already started this as well. I've read the first couple of chapters and I'm really, really enjoying it. So thank you so much to the author, Gunther, for sending that to me. I'm really excited to finish that one. And then last up, but it's not so much a book purchase as a subscription that I've been meaning to kind of set up for ages and I just took this crisis as a reason to just you know just go for it and I got myself a nice subscription to Scream Magazine so this is my first one and I'm very excited to have a monthly horror through my door. 
So yeah, that's it guys. That is my most recent book haul done well as usual. Very excited to read all of those. Keep an eye out for the reviews coming up. Have you read any of these books or anything else by these authors? Let me know in the comments down below. I always love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions, especially if I enjoy a particular author's book. You guys always know where to steer me, which book of theirs to read next. So let me know down below. And that's me for now. If you could subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment. Let's be friends. That's the whole point of this whole social media thing. We're supposed to be social. So leave me a little comment so we can get to know each other. And that's me for now. Bye.